What's up guys, it's the main adventure and today I'm going to teach you how to make paracord bracelets and keychains with leftover supplies. This is what you can make. I don't have any of the charms right now, but that's what I've done with all the scraps. And this is what I'm going to be making this one and this one. So I'm going to be using a white clasp. And uh, 550 paracord. So you start off by taking this end and putting it into this end of the jig, and this other one into that end of the jig. And you take this piece right here, and this is what, the one that you use to thread the paracord through. So you go up through, like so. Pull it until there's barely any at the end. Pull it through the loop. Sometimes the jig isn't really strong enough. And you pull it, oh shoot. Pull it through like that. Pull it tight. So it looks like that. So right now I'm making a six inch bracelet for my sister Elena. So after you uh, get that done, you take the paracord, make sure there are no twists, and just roll it through your fingers. Just like this. Keep going until you're at the end. When you're at the end, you should have something like that. And then what you do, you thread up. Like so. Then you pull it through. And if you want to know what these two are, these are for my large survival bracelets that can hold about um, 1,100 pounds of tested paracord. So once you finish pulling that through, it should look like this. So then you fold them down just so they loop under. Then you go under, under, over, then through here. That's backwards. So if you do get it backwards, you do have to pull this end out. And then come in from the right. And this is the part where it does start to get a little caught because there is a gap in the clip. And if you're wondering where I got the paracord on, Am I got it on Amazon for about fifteen dollars a pack. But you can make about fifteen bracelets and about fifteen keychains with the scraps. And you just pull it tight. So it looks just like that. So you want it to look flat. So, then what you do, So, once you do that, you will have to loop underneath here so what you can tie a cobra knot to fasten an entire band. So, 
So you go pull this piece out underneath here. Make sure there is a loop under this piece and then through that loop, pull it tight and you've made a cobra knot. Then you repeat it under, under, over, then through the loop. So then you get to something that looks kind of like that. And I'm gonna do that that whole length until it is completely done. Then I'm gonna show you how to weed it and make an official bracelet. So then you just keep doing this. Slide it up to make it nice and tight. So do it. Every time you do it, you do it on an opposite side just so it doesn't bunch up and then twist. Because if you get it on the wrong side, I'll show you what happens. It doesn't really look right, right and it looks kind of twisted like that. And it doesn't look good at all. Then when that happens, you have to pull that messed up spot out. And then try it from another angle, like that side. Then just keep going. Which I had done on the other side. So you can get mixed up with it if you're trying to go too fast. And then if you get mixed up, you can mess up quite easily. So uh, you kind of want to take your time when you're first starting off. So you go under, under, over, through that loop. Pull it tight enough so you can't move it anymore. Then grab onto here so it doesn't come off. And then push it up so it becomes super tight. Then you go under, under, over, through that loop again. And then just repeat the process. Only it's opposite directions each time so it doesn't bunch up on you. And then you've got a messed up bracelet and you have to fix it. So once it's, it's starting to look more like a bracelet, it's looking a lot more like this one, except for the colors. But you'll, it, this is what it, would look, it will look like after. So you just keep repeating that process until it's done. So under, under, over, through the loop. Under the two. Under this one, through that loop. Pull it tight. Slide it up, under, under, over, and through. Pull it up. Take it under, under, over, and through the loop. And then just repeat it until it's done. Once you get good at it, you can do it quick. Now you see them down to the final loop. So you got to grab onto here and then try and slide it up as much as you can. And then you see that little tiny gap? That will make a difference in the flexibility. So what you want to do, you want to do one more. Pull it tight. And now that thing's not moving anywhere. 
So this is what the finished product somewhat looks like. And after I'll show you how to weed it out. So, and then it's not that large mainly because it's only a six inch bracelet for my sister Elena. So I'm gonna show you how to weed it now. So the materials we'll need to weed it are a wheat, a fid, a pair of fabric scissors, and a cigarette lighter. So what you do, you take the fid, you twist it. As you can see, it starts to roll down onto the paracord. Now what you do, you take that loop side on here, and what you do, you come up one right here, and then try to slide it through, and then go through three times. So kind of like that, but you want to go in three. Sometimes you do have to come to the third one, kind of pop it a little. And then if you find like a flat surface or something, you can jam it in. Cause it does get like really tight on the third one and it will hurt your hand. So that's how that will work. Once you get through, you just push it through. If you have to, you press it against here more till it comes out. That's enough so you can blow it out. So that's what that will start to look like. I know what you're thinking, it's huge and it's not gonna fit on people and that. Oh, it actually is really comfortable to have on your wrist. Like, I made a survival one for myself and I loved it. Um, and I've gotten fire started with it and everything. And it's really a really nice bracelet. My just ran a flint on it. So you do the same thing. Maybe in a future video, I'll show you how to make the huge survival bracelet. So you just twist it, just like that. You come into the third one, or the second, go in. Kind of jam it up, pull that piece up. Like that. And then you want to find your hard surface. To press down on it. So like that. You jam it down a little bit more. Pull it through. Oh, we got hung up. Just like so. Oh no, I went through and missed the third. Do that. It's pretty simple just to loop back in. Actually, it is a lot easier to loop back in. Pull it. Just like that. Then what you do, take the fabric scissors, bend it after you pull it tight, and you cut it right down so it's almost flush. So it looks like that. And that's how it's supposed to look. So you take the cigarette lighter and then kind of burn the tips. Press down on it. Fold it in. And there's your finished product. Now when you close it, pretty much barely noticeable. So that's how to make the uh, bra paracord bracelet. Um, and next I'm going to show you how to make a keychain. In my next video I will show you. Sorry that I couldn't do it this one. Mainly because I just got that one finished, and hopefully I can make a video tonight of us going smelting at about 8 o'clock.
So that will be the next video I post. And after that, I'll probably do hiking, magnet fishing, all that stuff. But see you later, guys. And please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave a like on this video if you liked it. So see you later.